Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about universal logic gates that is NOR and NAND. So let's start. NOR gate. NOR gate is the combination of OR and NOT gates. As you can see in the table, when both the inputs are false, then only the output is true. And when only one input is true and another is false, then the output is also false. And when both the inputs are true, then also the output is false. So for the output Y to be on, both the inputs should be off and then only output Y will be on. So for no logic gate, the output Y will be will turn on only if when the two inputs are off. So if any one of the input is true or all the inputs are true, then the output Y will not be on, it will be off. And then NAND gate. NAND gate is the combination of AND and NOT gates. As you can see in the table, when both the inputs are false, then the output Y is also true. And when any one of the input is true, that means B is true and A is false or B is off and A is on, then also the output Y will be on. And when both the inputs are true, then the output Y will not be off. So for, uh, for an analogy gate, the output Y turns on when all the inputs are false or any one of the input is false. Then only the output Y will be true. So let's move to codices where we will draw the ladder diagram of NOR and NAND gate and also simulate them. I will open codices. We will create a new project. Okay. So we need to select a standard project and then click on OK. You have to select ladder uh, logic diagram here and click OK. After that, go, go to PLC PRG here, double click on it, and then here we will draw the ladder diagram. So, to implement NOR logic gate, we will be using normally closed contacts. And these normally closed contacts will be connected in series. So that we will implement NOR logic gate. So let's see. We'll insert a negated coil. And then here we will insert one more negated coil. And then we will insert a coil. So this will be input 1. Okay, and then this will be input 2, okay, and this will be output 1. So, as you can see here, This output 1 will be on when both the inputs are false. So, if any one of the input is true, let's say input 1 is true. So, this input 1, we have used it as normally closed contact. It is a negated contact. So, when in true state, it will not allow signal to pass through it. As a result, output 1 will not turn on. Similarly, if input 2 is True, then as a normally closed contact, it won't allow signal to pass through it. As a result, this output 1 will be false. And let's say both the inputs are true. So these both inputs are used as normally closed contacts. Neither of the input will allow, neither of the normally closed contact will allow signal to pass through it. As a result, output 1 will not turn on. So for output 1 to be on, both the inputs should be false. So in false state, normally closed contacts 
allows signal to pass through it. As a result, this output one will be true. So this, in this way, we have implemented NOR logic gate. Similarly, we can also implement NAND logic gate here. So I will right click and I will insert one more network below it. And then we will here implement NAND logic gate. So we will uh, draw a ladder diagram to implement NAND logic gate. So for NAND logic gate, either of the input should be false. So for that, we will use normally close contacts. But in this case, we will connect them in parallel. So here I will insert a normally closed contact and then I will click here and here you can see insert the gate and contact parallel. So in this way, so in this way we have connected these two normally closed contacts in parallel with each other. So this will be input 3, okay, and this will be input 4 and then we need to connect a coil here so I will click here and then insert coil and this coil will be output 2 okay so for output 2 to be on either of the inputs should be false so if a if input 3 is true then the signal will not flow through this. This input 3 will not allow signal to pass through this. As a result, this output 2 will not be true. But if input 4 is false, if input 3 is true, but input 4 is false, so this input 4 is a normally closed contact. So in false state, it will allow signal to pass through it. As a result, this output 2 will be true. Similarly, if input 4 is true, the signal will not pass through this. But if input 3 is true or false, the signal will pass through this. As a result, this output 2 will be true. And in case if both the inputs are true, then also the signal will pass through this and output 2 will become true. And if both the inputs are true, so these two inputs, these two contacts are negated contacts, normally closed contacts in true state. It will not allow signal to pass through it. As a result, the output 2 will not become true. It will be false. It will be off. So at least one input should be false. Then only output 2 will be true. So we will simulate this. We will generate code. And then we will log in. Before login, we need to go to the uh, line. Before going, uh, before login, we need to go to online and start simulation here, and then we will go online. Yes. After that, we will start here. As you can see here, for for this uh, NOR logic gate, both the inputs are false. Input one, input one is false. Input two is also false, and you can see output one is true. So for output one to be true, these both inputs should be false. So if I turn input one on, we will. Uh, keep it true and then go to debug and write values. You can see here input 1 gets true. It will not allow signal to pass through this. As a result, this output 1 becomes false. Similarly, we will turn it off and turn on input 2. 
we'll go to debug add write values so as you can see here input 1 is false but input 2 is true so this is also normally close contact it will not allow signal to pass through this as a result the output 1 gets off and similarly if we turn on both these inputs you can see output 1 does not get on it remains off why because for output 1 to be on both the inputs should be off okay so for NOR logic gate the output will be on when both the inputs are false so when I turn off input 1 and input 2 you can see here output 1 becomes true similarly for NAND logic gate this output 2 will be true if any one of the input is true sorry any one at least one input should be false you can see here input 3 is false and input 4 is also false you can see output 2 is true so if I turn on input 3 output 2 remains true and if I turn on input 4 and turn off input 3 the output remains true because at least one input is false at least one input is false so when I turn on both the inputs when I turn on both the inputs here the output 2 becomes false so for output 2 to be true at least one input should be false then only the output 2 will be true it was all about this example thank you for watching